even though you're an admin, you still have to be enabled as a marketing user. So, and the way you do that is if you go to setup and go to um, manage users and just find any user. And so you can see here's a system administrator user. I've got to click on that. I've got this marketing user flag that I've got to enable for anyone that I want to be able to manage campaigns, even system administrators. So you won't be able to add, edit, delete, create campaigns, or do anything unless you have that marketing user uh, flag enabled. Instead of just having a long drop-down list for the individual lead source values, you can actually use campaigns to track ROI. The first thing that I always suggest that you do is take a look at how you're trying to plan and measure your marketing activities and then design the campaigns object and fields around that. So for example, um, you have some standard fields like campaign name, whether or not it's active, start date and end date, uh, the parent and parent campaigns, I'll talk about that in a minute. We have some cost figures like budgeted cost and actual cost. Those are all standard fields and things you can use and help in planning your activities. Um, this type field is really important. Um, and it, I suggest that you customize it based on the individual marketing efforts that you're doing. It's going to actually look fairly similar to your drop down list for lead source on your leads as well. Um, I've added a couple of custom fields here, just as suggestions, and, and to give you some ideas about how you can customize the campaign screen to, to track some, some additional parameters for the campaigns that you're executing. So for example, under target audience, um, I've added a field for target audience where it's a small, medium, and large uh, size business if we have different sizes. Um, we have one called product focus too where you can put different products on there as well. And then you can use Salesforce reporting to slice and dice your campaigns by the target audience, by the product focus, and, and in addition to using these other fields and parameters. Um, I think it's important too that especially if you have more than one marketing uh, marketing team member that's using campaigns in Salesforce to try to make some of these fields required. In this case, we haven't making them required, and so the problem is that uh, if someone goes to fill out this form, they're not maybe going to provide all the requisite information. So just like any other uh, Salesforce object as you do on opportunities or leads, it's important to try to make the important fields required fields. Um, the other thing you can do is use parent campaigns. and let me edit this again. And parent campaigns are allow you to create a hierarchy of campaigns. So for example, you could say you could use a parent campaign for something like direct mail efforts um, first half 2014. And then you could have your individual direct mail campaigns rolling up to that. So then you can report at the campaign level and also at the uh, parent campaign level to get an overarching idea of everything that's going on with those campaigns. So um, attaching leads and contacts to campaigns is fairly simple and you can do that in several different ways. One way to do that is simply to go to the individual lead or campaign, or excuse me, or contact, and then just scroll down to the campaign history related list. If you click on add to campaign, it lets me search. I'm going to add this lead to this campaign. And, I'll, and there's some members. And what you're doing here is creating a campaign member record. So in campaign members are simply, is simply another object in Salesforce that lets you link a campaign to a lead or a contact. And campaign members have status values as well. By default, the campaign status values are sent and responded. And so what that means is that it, just, it describes my relationship to the campaign. Now, a lot of people don't use sent because a lot of, peop, a lot of uh, companies just like to use campaign members when somebody actually responds to a campaign. Some of you that might be using email marketing tools through Salesforce like MailChimp or, um, or iContact, uh, or, or one of the other, uh, constant contact or one of those other applications. A lot of times you use sent when you're creating a camp, an email campaign in Salesforce and then you're going to use uh, one of those email applications to execute it. So, and I'll show you how to edit those in, in, in just a minute. So anyway, so I'm going to add this as a response 
to this campaign, click Save. Um, if I go to Manage Members, I can add members via search function, where I can actually search for an individual person or search, search for leads or contacts by specific filter criteria and add them to the campaign that way. I can also, as I mentioned, import a file using the Salesforce Import Wizard. And when I click on Import Leads, it um, follows kind of the same criteria that uh, you would use to import leads, but it also is, is automatically going to attach all of these leads to the specific campaign as campaign members. Now, that is to me is a really important best practice in Salesforce. I would recommend that it, you not import leads into Salesforce, even if it's from a purchase list, unless you have a campaign attached to them because there's so many so much benefit from a reporting perspective to see where all of those leads are rolling up to. So if you are on the campaign screen and you click on advanced setup, you'll notice that uh, uh, these member status values as I mentioned, the defaults are sent and responded. But if I click on this edit button, then I can actually edit these values. And you can not only do this as an administrator, but you can give your marketing users the access to do this as well. Um, so in this case, I'm going to leave. I'm actually going to change these, and I'm going to uh, actually uh, use what I would use for like a webinar or a live event. So I'm going to say that the values are registered, and I'm going to check the responded box, which means that value uh, indicates a response to the campaign, and I'm going to also say attended. Click save. 